Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. We're here today in Brooks Bar with George Telfer, chatting about Not the Messiah. How are you doing today, George? Oh, fine, thank you very much. A nice day. It didn't rain on the way in, which is always a bonus. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about what audiences can expect from the show? They can expect a jolly good laugh, and they can expect to learn about Monty Python, about Graham Chapman, and they can expect, I think they can expect to shed the odd tear in places as well, because... Um, you know, people see a play about Monty Python, play about Graham Chapman, and they, they, you know, not wrongly expect to laugh a minute, and they get a lot of laughs, but Graham's a, a very painful, sad story. So within the laughter, there's a bit of upset as well. Now, you play an array of characters in the show. Is it difficult or exciting as an actor, switching between all those roles and accents? Brilliant. It's lovely. It's what actors do, you know. The m more different parts, the better, really. I suppose the only difficult thing is, is making it flow. And once, once you've done it quite a few times, it all just falls into place and you drift in and out from one character to the next. And it, and it, and it all just flows. It's lovely. Now, Graham Chapman is often thought as the kind of lesser known member of Monty Python. And he's also the only member no longer with us. Is there anything that you learned about him from the show that you previously didn't know? Yeah, I mean, I learned some silly little things. Like, I, I, I didn't... No, he smoked a pipe, really. Um, I don't, so I was fascinated to learn that. I, I didn't know. I knew he'd trained as a doctor, but I didn't know he actually qualified and worked as a doctor. In fact, I think on, the, on um, Life of Brian, he had sort of many, many bags full of many, many drugs um, and acted as a sort of GP to the cast and crew who picked up all sorts of <coughs> things while they were filming. What is it like performing at <laughs> What is it like performing at the Fringe um, uh, versus other venues in England, in London? Well, performing at the Fringe, in comparison to performing in a regular theatre, it's just the business because it's the it's the sharp end. I mean, Monty Python, uh, Not the Messiah, is is a ticket show, but uh, um, and my other play. Richard Burton is a free fringe show but it, it, it's the, the sharp end of fringe theatre and I love that because you're trundling around with your kit in your bag you get into a porter cabin you know, you, you're, you're amongst people in pink jumpsuits and, and uh, leotards and blokes in frocks and everything else and it, it's just the atmosphere and the, the, uh, the striving for everyone just to have a great time and everyone's willing everyone else on to do well it's the best now, you mentioned just there that you were also in another one-man show <laughs> um, <laughs> playing Richard Burton. So you're here at the Fringe, you're doing two one-man shows, one about Graham Chapman, one about Richard Burton. What is that like, paying, Well, exploring two really huge figures in British history? Well, I, I, wrote, I wrote Burton's Last Call a few years ago now, and I've, I've done it off and on ever since. And, uh, you know, Tom Crawshaw, who wrote Not the Messiah, we did it a couple of years ago, and he was quite keen for me to come up to Edinburgh. And I nearly did it last year, but I was worried about doing two in one day. But then once I'd got going last year, I thought, <clears throat> that'd be fine. And it is fine. You know, I've got into it. This is my <clears throat> ninth day of doing two shows a day, uh, one o'clock and then quarter to four. And I've got into a really good groove now, and, and I just thrive on it. I love it. You're a, you're a marathon runner. I am. What, yeah. what, what is harder, two one-man shows or a marathon? That's a really interesting question, and I, I'm glad you asked that, and I don't really know the answer. Um, it, it's quite similar in a way. I suppose day nine of doing two shows a day is a bit like um, sort of um, ten miles on a marathon. And you've had a drink stop and another one, and, you know... Um, it's a similar sort of thing, but, I, 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 you know, I pace myself, and I, I don't go out drinking all night. Um, I, I stop at four o'clock, um, <laughs> so um, so yeah, I pace myself. But the two are, are quite alike. Yeah. Do you have a favourite Monty Python film? Do you know I didn't really. When Monty Python was about, it kind of passed me by. But now I watch it and I laugh myself silly. Uh, the meaning of life is hysterical. I don't know how they got away with it. The, the, and and the, the, the regular Python sketch shows, and honestly, I laugh till I cry now. To, I don't think I could pick out a favourite. I think one of my favourite sketches is the one where John Cleese sees double. Uh, uh, yes, come in, nice to see you both. 
Sorry, there's only one of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> you know, that, I think that really makes me laugh. Um, thank you so much for coming and chatting to us. You can see Not the Messiah all the way until the 24th of August, I think it is. 1pm, Pleasance Courtyard. Definitely go down and check it out. Thank <laughs> you.